Hi, it's Ken. You know, every time I'm around a group of real estate agents lately, it seems like the talk turns to what's going on in the real estate market. I think we all agree that things have slowed down a little bit, even for this time of year, they're slower than usual. So let's talk for just a second about why that's happening. First thing is, is relatively obvious. We have the highest interest rates we've had in 10 years or more. And what that is doing is that it's making buyers who normally were moving fairly quickly having to pause and step back a little bit and, and think about the, what they're buying. That means that they're not moving as quickly on listings. That means that listings are sitting a little longer. That also means that sometimes we have to reduce the price on our listings to a better price to attract these buyers. I mean, it makes sense. Interest rates go up a little bit, buyers get a little more cautious, sellers have to be a little more patient. It happens. That's what, that's what, that's what goes on. Um, I think the other thing that might be happening is there are a lot of things going on in the world. You can't, that's obvious, but you can't um, make a one-to-one -one correlation as to this is happening, so that's happening. But you think about it, we've just come through a really raucous election period. We've got wildfires in, in um, California. We've got tornadoes all over the place. We have hurricanes in the Pacific and in the Atlantic. We've got all sorts of stuff that just causes people to be a little uneasy. It may not affect them directly, but it makes them a little uneasy. The other thing that we've got, um, strangely enough, is still a shortage of inventory in some areas. Now, we have more homes for sale overall than we've had in a long time, but not necessarily in the right places. So we have a good number of first-time home buyers coming out, but nothing to sell to them because very few homes are in the starter range these days, or at least what most people would typically consider a starter range. On the other hand, we've got a glut of homes in the $1 million or more price range. Generally speaking, the, the houses in that price range are in a buyer's market. So where does this all go from here? Well, first of all, don't panic. We're at the end of the year. It's kind of normal for things to slow down. It's just what happens. The second thing is, is that adjust. Um, you need to talk to your sellers differently. Uh, buyers have already figured out that we're in a different kind of a market. Sellers have not necessarily done so. So you need to talk to your sellers, make sure that they list realistically, that their houses are in great shape, and you need to set the price and prepare them for potential lower prices in the future. Um, I think that if you just plug ahead, keep going, I think you'll find that through the end of the year, the market will pick up at the beginning of 2019. I feel like we're going to have a pretty strong 2019. People will adjust to the new reality. We're going to have to also get used to the fact that we're going to be in a pretty even market. We've been in a uh, seller's market for the last several years. The sellers have called the shots. I think it's going to be a much more even playing field now, and that's going to take some adjustment. And we can talk about later on how, how that uh, affects us and how we need to adjust. But the big thing is just do your job. Things are going to be fine. Uh, we have a lot of people in our company that made their careers during the real estate recession of 2006, 7 and on. And there'll be a lot of people that will make their careers during this time as well. So hang in there, keep working, don't panic, and we'll be back again with another tip later on. Thanks.